You make me a maniac, but you don't know oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, they be like Dangerous at all, are you? you Two, perhaps you want to make all of your kids' names rhyme. Hey, Sherry, Larry, Harry, Terry, Carrie. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't think of them. The Disneys. It's entirely possible that they have used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love Oops, my heart went Wait a minute, how did this happen? We're smarter than this You, 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 when you, when, 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 when you <laughs> That's what she said, and you know what? I, what was that? Okay, James. Some of you don't know, but I have had a growing obsession with these books for like a long time. I have a shelf dedicated to them, and I have had this shelf for like a couple of years. Anyway, I got into the books when Nightfall came out, and I read it on iBooks. And then obviously eventually got the paperback. But then the next year when Flashback was coming out, I won an Instagram challenge from the publisher and got sent two of these boxes, one for me and one for my friends. And inside was a hardcover copy of the first one with a signed plate, a poster of all the existing books, Two Iggy prints, a nice note from the author, and some character pins, but I lost some at one of the events. The next year, I went to the Legacy Tour and got my book signed. We were also allowed to bring an additional book from home to get signed, so I picked my favorite one. I just got two of these little iron-on things from that tour. And then this past year, I attended the virtual event for Unlocked and got Unlocked, a signed plate, and an Iggy sticker. I also have doubles of the first one, the eighth, and 8.5. And my paperbacks are all super beat up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll handle this the way we always do. <gasps> Brute strength? Almost dying? No! I so I cry and I pray and I pray. Love me, love me. There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. Super spy! I've kept all of our secrets. What secrets? Oh, no, no, Joey. I'm not going to tell you because I am an excellent secret keeper. <laughs> you tell me later. You already know. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. Yeah, but I won't let him. Well, we don't have time for that. I don't know. We have a little time.
information that could possibly hurt you? trend going around on TikTok where you grab your nearest book, turn to page 30, and then read the first sentence and it will describe your love life. I'm sorry I've been done these in a while, but I've been really busy. Anyways, um, this is a really unpopular opinion, I'm pretty sure, but I, my favorite book is actually Everboys. I, <laughs> I don't know why, but, okay, first off, we get to see Bronte sort of, like, slowly changing over to the standing Sophie side, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, when she got the um, ability restrictor on, he supported her, which I loved. Also, the conflict with the ability restrictor and, um, Brant, I think that's his, how you pronounce his name, like, that was two things that I never thought would actually happen, so that was, that was really surprising to me, and it was really fun to read. Also, we got to figure out how smart Sophie is by, um, deciphering the books, and we got to see how strong Grady is for burning off the hand. Anyways, yeah, that's my opinion. Sorry. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stupidest people. Oh. 